The Portal, a big screen live video feed connecting New York City with Dublin Island. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. Ready? Oh, I can't go on. I am sure. You see, get the people, get the people. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Yeah. Ava Louise claims she did it because Dubliners were taunting New Yorkers with 9-11 photos. <laughs> a lot of people are mad at me, but a lot of people think I personally saved NYC from the debauchery of the Irish people and thank me for it. I'm a hero! Alright, love. Guys, I'm really offended at those Twin Towers images. Oh, I flink in bio. Then she bragged about how much money she made out of it. This is the same clout chasing bin who licked a toilet seat as part of the coronavirus challenge. Being lectured by an OnlyFans thought on the evils of debauchery. <laughs> Nice. But by far the funniest aspect of this is comparing the flowery, pompous intention of the artist who came up with the concept with how it was actually received and used. Lithuanian artist Benedictus Gillis said, Portals are an invitation to meet people above borders and differences and to experience our world as it really is, united in one. Right, because who needs borders? Fuck borders! Within 48 hours they had to put a border around it staffed by 24-7 security. Then announced it would be completely shut down for the rest of the week. 24-7 on-site security and barriers were placed. The fact that a public art installation created with the intent of demonstrating how borders are an impediment to human affinity and kinship had to be protected by a literal border to keep all the undesirables out is going to keep me laughing all through the summer. <laughs> Livestream provides a window between distant locations allowing people to meet outside of their social circles and cultures. Transcend geographical boundaries and embrace the beauty of global interconnectedness. When cloying pretentious universalism meets the grimy, narcissism fueled reality of human nature. This is sad to hear. Ava Louisa's stunt was soon being replicated. <laughs> Presumably she was just upset about the 9-11 pictures too. Now the artist is condemning the bad behaviour. But what happened to embracing the beauty of global interconnectedness? Within hours of the video link opening, this Irish woman was arrested for drunkenly grinding on it. Beautiful. Both cities also got a little cheeky with some quality twerking and some textbook mooning. <laughs> Beautiful. Swearing at flipping off and insulting our transatlantic cousins as losers is surely the best way of transcending geographical boundaries and embracing the beauty of global interconnectedness. I think it's a really cool way to express human connection. What they expected. <laughs> what they actually got. Ah! But how is the media covering this story? Thanks to Ground News, I can access every story on it and compare coverage. In this case, more than a hundred articles have been published on the Dublin, New York portal incident around the world, including right out of Ireland and the US. Interesting to note how many news outlets are just calling it inappropriate behaviour and not actually pointing out what happened. Moreover, not a lot of right-leaning sources are covering the story at all. They're perhaps missing a trick in not realising this does actually play into the culture war. Ground News News shines a spotlight on misleading narratives. You can check this out for yourself at ground.news slash pjw. The link is right down there below. If you're a news junkie like me, this is the Rosetta Stone of breaking news and media monitoring. Instead of wasting time wading through scores of different websites, everything is there in one place. Helping you stay informed of breaking news developments as they happen. Ground News even goes a step further and highlights what the media isn't covering with this blind spot feed. You can check into things like media ownership stats and much more. I've been using it for over a year now and it's an invaluable tool. And I'm not just saying it because they sponsor me. I actually use their website and app on a daily basis for my work. It's going to be a massive year of news considering elections are taking place in both the UK and the US. So it's never been a better time to check out ground.news slash pjw or scan the QR code on the screen. They're currently offering my viewers 40% off the Vantage plan, which is the one I use for unlimited access. Or you can try it for less than a pound a month. They're independent independently owned and subscriber funded. Subscribers support their mission to hold the media accountable. And remember, by supporting my sponsor, you support me directly. 
and you get a great product, it's a win-win. Apparently someone also had the galaxy brain idea to put the Dublin portal in a street where all the scumbags and crackheads hang out. But it's only a minority of people who are causing problems. There are a few troublemakers. Yeah, that's why we have borders, to protect the ones who don't. There's actually a similar portal connecting Lithuania to Poland. And despite the fact that it's been in place for three years, they haven't experienced anywhere near the level of degeneracy Dublin and New York served up in just a few days. Some cultures are better than others. Another thing is that New York's public exposure laws apparently don't apply to attractive women. I'm funny, I'm hot, I have money, I have a nice body. Female privilege? I'd like to see some right-wing Dubliners holding up some Highlanders full signs. Then observe the level of media freakout in comparison to Ava Louisa's stun. POV, when Dublin opens a portal to hell but then realises it's just New York City. They seriously expected it to all just be a bunch of people dancing and doing that to each other. Both sides can be seen dancing and waving to each other. It's like a giant face chat. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is a great idea. Yeah, that's really neat. What they got is 9-11 memes and literal porn. I guess they forgot about He Will Not Divide Us. Another live stream art installation also in New York. That just like the portal only succeeded in proving the exact opposite of its original intention. It divided everyone. <laughs> The portal is intended to run right through until the end of the summer. But with BPD narcissists everywhere licking their lips at the prospect of free social media clout, trying to one-up each other with increasingly more garish acts of vulgarity. I'd be surprised if this thing makes it beyond the end of the month. <laughs>